What's up YouTube, it's Luis Rubio. I managed to get my hands on a brand new 2020 Toyota Highlander for us. This is the first one we've received here at Toyota Town of Stockton. So it's got major key differences for this upcoming year. I wanted to do a quick walk around so you guys can see the key differences. Anything that you guys would like to let me know, just drop them down in the comments. Anything that I miss, please let me know. Should be a pretty quick video, just explaining the new features 2020 comes that it comes with new front end the side it the vehicle is actually a little longer itself as well you've got that black wrap on top it's pretty neat that's how you can tell this one's a platinum so let me get the whole car sorry guys it's a little crowded here i can't get the full angles but just so you guys can check this out the back end is totally different it's got smoke lights but it's got led lights as well so one way you can tell this is a platinum this finish back here it's not dark gray it's just dark so you guys can check all that out this got has 20 inch wheels back here so the limited does as well but this one you can totally tell the difference the other ones are chrome these are not not as shiny <laughs> all right let me go ahead and open up the car so you guys can check that out it's got a smart key right here so put your hand right inside unlocks for you does that blind spot monitor rear cross traffic alert it's got heated side mirrors right here so again guys this is brand new for 2020 they changed the interior actually the engine and transmission stayed the same but toyota's had a really good engine transmission the, that drivetrain is great it's worked wonders it does still tow about 5,000 pounds but check that out guys this whole finish right here it's like a like an expensive oh it's nice the whole curve it's pretty neat this has jbr premium audio which i'll get to it's about 11 speakers it's great automatic high beams panoramic view 360 that's got the power lift gate this is for your heated steering wheel and de-icer function got a couple things right back there check out that inside so guys one way we can tell this is the platinum is boom it has a heads up display so let's go ahead and turn this bad boy on Boom, there it is. Heads up displays right up there, so you can tell something's flickering down there. I haven't adjusted the settings. It's one of the first times I actually sit in this vehicle. It tells you which seat belts are not tucked in. And actually, when you turn off the car, if you open up the back doors, it tells you, hey, you know what? Do basically double checks so you don't make so you don't leave anyone inside the vehicle. It's got different functions right here with these little buttons. Series XM, a, a lot of different sensors pre-collision blind spot all right the gauges look they look handsome they're they're nice they're elegant now this is the real magic guys 12.3 inch display 12.3 inch display it comes standard with an 8 inch since this is the platinum grade it does have the 12.3 standard whereas the other ones uh, have the 8 inch and it's an optional 12.3 inch but this is huge guys check this out this is really cool so you can click that little button Boom, it goes to the passenger side. <laughs> Heated seats, cooled seats. These have a gloss finish to them. They look very expensive too. These knobs, can't miss them. JBL makes a difference, by the way. <laughs> Something that Toyota Highlander is very well known for. Put your cables right through here. It comes out through the top. You can set any, you know, iPod or another phone, anything like that. You can, uh, it's a cubby right here for your phone as well. This is a transferring more or less USB. It charges your phone, doesn't really charge it as fast. It's more so for transferring. These charge faster at 2.1 outlets, which it has two of here and it has three back there. Move this to the side. You have different drive modes, normal, sports, eco. It's transmission timing. It shifts a little more aggressive, but at a higher RPM. You've got this for your all wheel drive. It's a smart all wheel drive, but definitely helps the system know what type of terrain you're in brake hold which is pretty nice if you don't know what the brake hold is you can actually set the brake hold on and it pops up in yellow and green up here and then when it's active it turns it turns yellow so it's green when it's on it's active it's yellow it stops the car in case you had a red light once you let go of the brake then uh, stepping on the gas will allow it to continue you have different system buttons here so your traction control your snow mode downhill assist and this is the auto smart so the vehicle actually it turns off when at a light 
turns off and the engine it's itself and then it turns back on when you let go of the brake you can take that system off check this out you have a little bit of space right in here boom wireless charging and then right under here you got a little bit more space it's actually pretty deep yeah really deep got another outlet right in there as well so go ahead and close this up close this up as well again it's very elegant inside JBL Premium Audio, you do have a couple buttons right up here. So this one opens up the panoramic roof, boom. And this button right here actually opens up the glass. Looks neat. SOS, in an emergency, boom, that little button right there. You can actually leave that up so you can not have to look back anymore and you can actually just see who's doing anything that does have a little button right up here which the system should already come with basically it uses the speakers of the car itself to communicate what you're saying up front check this out boom there it is it's pretty neat they it comes directly from the rav4 that's something they've used it with fan favorite and has auto dimming rear view mirror so this all dims down in case there's a vehicle behind you it has a trans receiver for your garage door a couple of things but this guys this is what really sets it apart really really sets it apart let me go ahead and show you guys the back because the back is is unique as well so toyota actually made the vehicle longer if it's longer it means well it means one big thing that it has a better ride quality first first of all but it also gives you more space back here so you get more space than before so you can move these seats forward and get more seating space in the back as mentioned, you have a couple more USBs back here. You got your heated seats back here, which is on the Platinum Series. This comes with captain chairs. You cannot get the bench seating in front unless you get the limited grade. But I'll show you guys the back seat, how that works. You have a sunshade as well. Trimming is really nice. Boom. So you can actually just pull this and you can move the seat forward. Gives you a little bit of space to walk back. But let's go ahead and open up the back regular gas guys the, actually the fuel tank's smaller on this one but it does get about two miles per gallon better uh the drag coefficient is much better even though it has the same drivetrain so let me go ahead and show you guys this back here so you do have more space from here to here than the previous model and you can just simply lift this up boom you're all set put this up now the cool thing about this is check this out you can actually fold it by going like that and it puts the headrest down so that's neat. You have a couple cup holders back here as well. This uh, comes directly from the RAV4, which is pretty, pretty neat. So you can actually press a little button right there. But now if you pull it, it'll do the rest of the way. You won't override the system. And if you actually block it, it won't close. Before, it would more so try to jam its way through. So I thought that was pretty neat to show you guys. You have two cameras back here, which is strange. You would think actually it is strange one of them actually cleans itself it's got its own windshield washer fluid type of thing cleans itself and that's for that backup camera that i was showing you guys earlier so let's go ahead and close this again it does have jbl premium audio which has an eight inch subwoofer back there sound system is it's unique for sure jbl definitely it hits it hard with the notes bass isn't all that loud but it hits it pretty hard you got your sensors all back here as well you've got this chrome piece back here so that's definitely one way to tell that it's a, a platinum grade but yeah guys so toyota did come up with more uh more features on this and by that i mean the toyota safety sense 2.0 does give you a suite of different things different driving modes it's got dynamic radar cruise control full speed mind you so now you can go to a complete zero and it'll start right up for you guys now this one comes with uh, an actual app suite which is free for one year so you can actually turn it on with your smartwatch you can turn it on with your android auto well i mean your android uh, device as well your smartwatch but more importantly it has different driving modes it has valet mode it's got uh guest driver mode and you can check to see how much gas you have what your average eco drive is a couple of other little things that you know start the car as well amazon alexa it does have android auto and apple carplay now fully integrated now it does still have Entune, so you can still connect by Bluetooth, and it still does a bunch of things that are that are almost normal to us at this point. But I wanted to do a quick walk around so you guys can tell what's going on. It does have 360-degree camera view, so it's got a little camera right on the side as well. 
boom, little camera right there. And it's got a puddle lights. So, you know, it'll say Highlander once you open the door. Illuminated door, so it's really nice. But yeah, guys, just want to do a quick walk around for you. Just so you guys can get a gist of the new 2020. This one's going to be a very, very highly sold model. Toyota usually sells over 300,000 of these a year easily. And um, there's a trend going, so customers are looking to buy bigger SUVs because the gas mileage or gas prices for whatever reason it may be so do you guys have any questions comments concerns of course drop them down below sorry for the shaky camera it's on an iPhone I can't edit and I won't edit I do not have time to edit I'm so sorry but if you have any questions concerns about the space about any technology that it has I'd be more than happy to more than happy to and I post videos about Toyotas every now and then mostly Toyota some used cars that catch my attention but yeah guys Whew. it's a toyota at the end of the day <laughs> i'll catch you guys next time bye